this week I'm going to do a really obnoxious YouTube style intro. Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy, Alan, and it's Grow Voices Week 3. I've actually been thinking about things that um, I'm missing. Coffee. That's one. That's the main one, as I'm sure that everyone else is uh, feeling that as well. And it's kind of strange because I went from someone that drinks no coffee at all to having the barista preempt my order. Uh, and the novelty of that still hasn't worn off. It must be so annoying for them. So I'll, I'll go in and they'll go flat white and I'll go, yes, please. Uh, as if every time that happens is the first time it's happened. Um, I dread to think of what my nickname must be because I work in retail, like I said, and everyone has a nickname. Um, Mr. Clipboard, um, Forehead Man, Ghost Woman, Chip Lady. Um, so I really dread to think what, what my nickname is in there. Coffee at home is nowhere near as good as the shops. You know, you can get yourself a, a little machine if you've got one, if you've got about £500 to spare. If you can see those, that's just, they're not like um, most haunted orbs. Yeah, it's not, they're not sort of supernatural orbs. They're just, it's just particles of dust. So just, yeah, you can, there, there goes one. There's, there's another. Uh, great fun. Um, I, actually, I need to get my hair cut. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, because if I don't get my hair cut, I'm going to end up looking like I looked sort of circa 2006. I've got curly hair. <laughs> As my parents say, it doesn't sort of grow down, it grows out and up. Um, and I'm quite a slender man, so if I were to grow my hair out, my silhouette would resemble a large microphone, if you can picture that. Uh, just a giant microphone walking around town. Uh, it will get big. We're talking Led Zeppelin big. Um, so if I don't get it cut soon, I'm going to be dazed and confused. That's rubbish. That's a rubbish. Um, let me think of a different Led Zeppelin song. Communicate. No, it's not. No. no point. Um, you'll you'll notice behind me that um, there's quite a large poster of the world, and I keep that there. Um, in the same way that some people keep like those little wooden letters in their house that spell out home. Um because like them, uh, I think it's important to remind yourself of where you are. And uh, that's where I am. The world. Classic political is what it says underneath there. The thing that keeps me mentally healthy is uh, schadenfreude. And that sounds quite bad to say, but in this case, I think it's justified because the thought that's been keeping me going is um, thinking that in a few months' time, there's going to be at least one person who went out and bulk bought toilet roll and who will become complacent and forget to buy toilet roll. And they'll be sat there and they'll tear the final square from their last toilet roll and be left with a bare cardboard tube um, and then they're going to panic. And that, that for me, would be sweet, sweet justice. <laughs> I just hope that they're in there frantically searching for something, frantically searching for a plan B. I think the thought of the only other vessel in there being a sink is uh, satisfying because you know that they'll be thinking about the logistics of using it or reverse engineering it rather as a b-day we're gonna have to splash cold water up there that is pretty much it from me as always stay safe stay home um we're gonna read it i'm gonna do everything for you um hope you've got a leaflet hope you've um 
got a letter from the Prime Minister like I did. Hopefully not signed by him. I don't want him having touched the letter, obviously. <laughs>